For this edition of Face to Face, we come to an exclusive development in what is perhaps one of the most exclusive regions or districts of Dubai. We're looking at Al Barari. Mohammed, welcome to Face to Face. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Before we look at this rather special development at Al Barari, let's start off and look at the evolution of, of the company. Well, Al Barari started um, <clears throat> as a concept by the chairman, Zal Mohammed Zal, about seven or eight years ago. Um, and we wanted as a family to create a community that we could be a part of. Um, we actually started by designing our own house. Um, and we found that we could design a wonderful house and beautiful surroundings within our four walls. But what we found was that there was not a suitable place where we wanted to put that property. Right. Uh, and this is how you know, the whole thing started. Then we, you know, of course, the construction boom and the, the real estate boom was, it was happening at the time. Uh, so we eyed a few plots and, and, and you know, finally found uh, this wonderful piece of land here. And, and uh, it all started there. Uh, it just um, it felt right when we came onto the, the land. And so the idea from your own personal family home has evolved into this project. Into the project, yes. Evolving all, how many villas in, in total? We have now 241 villas in the development, and then of course we have phase two, which is the hotel, apartments, yeah. retail and commercial, and mixed use uh, areas. As you mentioned, you know, the real estate boom, have you had to change your way forward because of the change well, in the Well, of market. course, I mean, you know, the, uh, you know as developers, you, you have to, you know, uh, we are entwined with the, sure. the real estate market here, so we've had to uh, not change, per se, the, the plans of the development, uh, but the timing of, of uh, each um, yeah, right. component of the development has had to be re-looked at, yes. Now, this location is very special. It's often referred to as being a royal enclave here, yeah. Nadal Shiva. Exactly, yeah. How special is this? Very special. Uh, we are actually, the, most of the development, and the way the development was designed as well, it's all facing um, the wildlife reserve. And uh, the biggest part of the development is actually uh, facing this uh, nature reserve where you have gazelles and oryxes mm. and those kinds of things. And it's uh, actually a personal uh, nature reserve to the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan uh, bin Mohammed. Um, it, it was... Um, both lucky and, and unplanned. We did purchase the land a long time ago, right. uh, and it just it just felt right. You know, when you walked onto this onto this land here, it just felt like the place to build yeah. our dream. Had a special feeling to it, definitely. And uh, you know, the nature of this location, Dubai, must have been sought after by quite a few people. In oh, definitely, it, it, it was uh, yeah. quite difficult to acquire the land, but uh, we were successful. Now, Al Barari translated means the wilderness. The wilderness. It, it is a wilderness. It's yeah. not the usual sandy brown not. wilderness. It's a huge amount of green. Yeah. So what is the, the feel, the philosophy between the landscaping, Balinese and various other countries? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we have um, six themed botanical gardens within the development. So you have the Balinese garden, Mediterranean garden, um, uh, Renaissance, and, uh, themed oh. over different uh, sort of areas. And we tried to incorporate all the different uh, types of plants that we had. Uh, we started our nursery business uh, quite a while ago, and we, we actually have... Uh, one of the largest um, uh, privately owned nurseries in the in the region, yeah, in fact. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted to incorporate all the different types of species we'd acquired into the development. Uh, it's all about having the, the villas within uh, these beautiful gardens. How challenging was it to get the species which will adapt to this sometimes, you know, this time of year, harsh environment? Yeah, it was very difficult. But, you know, surprisingly enough, I don't think anyone has ever tried it before. So, what, what you know, we were extremely successful at doing so. We, you know, uh, I think we, we've been pioneers in, in, yeah. in, uh, in, in doing that and we've worked very closely with the municipality and, and the ministries to bring over uh, specific plants and test them. Uh, we've had a good uh, run before we started development so uh, surprisingly enough a lot of species um, can thrive in this uh, environment. You have more plants and properties, so... A lot more plants and properties, <laughs> yeah. Over, is it over 800 different species? You've over 800 have? different species. We've already actually planted um, approximately 1.2, 1.3 million uh, plants as we, uh, as we stand today within it's the huge. development, a huge number. Uh, and we've, you know, already have more than 10 million in, in, in our nursery uh, right. alone. So how, how are you able to sustain this volume and also wide variety? Well, uh, you know, the, the only issues which do, do, uh, do come uh, 
that do come up uh, the irrigation and, and water consumption yeah, sure. sites. But it's a common misconception that the more you, you plant, the, the more water you need. Right. Uh, there is a, a point uh, where that actually does uh, stable out because you do create microclimates. Oh, it creates uh, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of shade, so there's less evaporation, etc. Sure, et okay. Mohamed, we'll take a little break here, come back in part two, and continue our look at the Al Barari development with Mohamed bin Zal. <laughs>